Nestle, the world's largest consumer goods company, adds sugar and honey to infant milk and cereal products sold in many poorer countries. Contrary to international guidelines aimed at preventing obesity and chronic diseases, this is what a report from Public Eye, a Swiss investigative organization, has found. Now, two of the best-selling baby food brands by Nestle in India contain high levels of added sugar, while such products are actually sugar-free in the United Kingdom, in Germany, in Switzerland, and some other developed nations as well, according to this investigation by Public Eye. Now, this report says that Nestle, which is the world's largest consumer goods company, adds sugar and honey to infant milk and cereal products across several countries, which is a violation of international guidelines that are actually aimed at preventing obesity and chronic and severe diseases. But it's crucial to note that violations were only found in Asian, African, and Latin American countries. But what exactly do these findings reveal? These findings show that in India, all 15 Cerelac baby products contain an average of nearly 3 grams of sugar per serving. The same product is being sold with no added sugar in Germany and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, in comparison, in Ethiopia and Thailand, it contains nearly 6 grams of added sugar. This is what the study highlights. Why is this so alarming? Well, you cannot ignore that Nestle is a household name. And by the way, it sold over 20,000 crore rupees worth of Cerelac products in India just in the year 2022 alone. Experts have repeatedly said that adding sugar, which is a highly addictive substance to baby products, is dangerous and frankly an unnecessary practice. Globally, though, Cerelac is the number one baby cereal brand. Sales of Cerelac exceeded $1 billion in 2022. I'm quoting the Euromonitor International data here. And the highest sales, according to the report, are in low- and middle-income countries. In fact, 40% of sales of Cerelac are just recorded in India and Brazil. We do have a reaction from Nestle India on the matter. A Nestle India spokesperson has spoken to NDTV and said they comply with all local regulations as well as international standards. And they have added that they have already reduced added sugars across its infant cereal range by up to 30% in the last five years. A report by Swiss investigative organization Public Eye shows that Nestle uses excess sugar in baby products like Cerelac, particularly in developing countries, including in India. After examining 150 products sold by the multinational in Asia, Africa, and even Latin America, the report says that almost all the Cerelac infant cereals targeted at babies from six months of age contain added sugar of nearly four grams per serving on average. This is equal to roughly a sugar cube. The report found that Cerelac products sold in India contains more than 3 grams of added sugar for every serving. Now, this translates into 7 to 9% per 25 to 30 grams. Interestingly, the same product sold in Nestle's key European markets, including the UK, Germany, and France, don't have sugar at all. A Nestle India spokesperson, however, told NDTV that the company has reduced total amount of added sugars in its infant cereals portfolio by 30% over the past five years, and it continues to review and reformulate products to reduce them further. Yet, the report raises several serious questions around the health implications of high sugar on baby products and the country's regulation when it comes to the category of baby food. Public Eye is petitioning Nestle to discontinue sugar usage in products designed for babies and toddlers under the age of three in every part of the world. We'll bring you more updates throughout the day. Until then, that's all we have. Back to you.